everyone. This is Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be doing the tutorial on this cute little Christmas mouse. We're going to start with a toilet paper roll. I'm going to cut it in half. All right, as once I have it like this, I'm going to round these top corners here. So you end up with this shape. Okay guys, now I'm going to fold these sides in and I'm going to glue the sides here. Okay, I'm just, you can see it's gone into a point here. I'm just going to bend it a little bit to give it some wrinkles inside there so it's not just a straight piece of cardboard. It just adds some character to it, depth. Okay, then I'm gonna trim this out. So what you end up with is something like this. So once I've glued it together like this, I'm going to trim a little bit more of it off. So it's like that, okay guys? Now, for the ears, I'm going to cut a section, and um, you can do whatever size you would like um, your mouse to be. For the ears, I cut a piece off here it is five inches by three, okay? And I'm gonna just play with this a little bit, manipulate it, crinkle it. Um, it makes it more uh, pliable so I can bend it the way I want to bend it, okay? So then I just start folding it in, folding it in, tucking it in. What I'm doing here is I'm folding it in half. So all the gathered uh, part is going to be inside and it won't uh, be visible. tucking, folding and tucking, folding and tucking. You get the shape that you like. I make sure that both seams line up nicely here. So it looks finished from the back side as well. Okay, so I have it like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue these two sides together. So once I have the, the two sides glued, then I go into this bottom part here and I mold it into each other here. So it's kind of like a curve here, like an ear. Get some glue here, where I'm gonna fold it over. And we have one ear done, okay? It'll be like this, okay? 
So now I'm going to, I wanna make sure the other one is the same size. So I'm gonna do the five inches here. Once I have the two ears done, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the face here. I'm just gonna glue it right on the edge here. I have the seam side down also. Okay, guys, that's what we have so far. I have a couple of pieces of shims with a skewer glued on and some little cubes on the side to hold it in. This is going to be the feet and we're going to build the body around this. So next, what I'm gonna do, just like I did with my scarecrow, I'm gonna get a lunch bag and I'm gonna crinkle it all up. Okay, crinkle it all up. form the shoe. I'm tucking the bulk of this inside. Also acts like padding as well. So. Make a tear in the front. About two and a half inches. And meanwhile, I'm tucking all the extra bag inside here into um, the shoe part. I'm going to make the shoe out of okay. And then I'm going to get my dowel with my little piece of shim here that I'm using as a shoe. And I'm going to put it inside here. Okay. Once I get it situated to where I want, I'm gonna shoot some glue in here, gather it up, and I'm going to tie it off with some string. Okay, so it ends up looking like this. And repeat the same thing with this one. All right, now what I'm going to do is glue these two together. So it's looking like that, the little, the little feet, okay? Tie some string around here too for security. Okay, that's what I have so far. Now I'm going to glue the head on here, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna trim off some of this excess here. So that's what we have so far, guys. I'm gonna make a little outfit. So for this little dress that I'm going to make, I just have some fabric here. opening up the paper here because I'm going to 
make some arms for this little guy. Okay, so same, same kind of thing. Cut it in half because I don't want it as thick. It's crunching and rolling and fabric and I'm going to cover the little arm Now continue on with the bodice part of the ensemble here. cute little scarf. That's how she's looking so far, guys. With what I did with her, I'm my kiln's dark wax. And I'm gonna age it up a little bit. Age up her shoes. Make her little nose. add on little whiskers but I just um, drew some on so there you have it thank you so much for watching me this is Julie at Magnolia Grace Cottage